Well, we continue to remember and share stories of the 1974 tornado that destroyed and transformed so much of Xenia. The 50th anniversary today, an emotional ceremony taking place to remember all that was lost, but also to celebrate all that Xenia has become since then. Generally Boric live from downtown Xenia now. Can you describe what that ceremony meant to the community there? Yeah, Adam, this anniversary ceremony was a moment for the Xenia community to reflect, share stories and acknowledge how the city has moved forward 50 years after a day that changed so many people's lives. I spoke to one survivor whose emotions were still very raw. She told me the story of her mother finding a way to get home to her and her two siblings after the storm hit. And when she got home to our house, everything was demolished. There was only like three houses that were still standing on our street. And she was just so happy that we were still alive. The clouds may have looked different on April 3rd, 50 years ago, but they hovered as a reminder of what Mother Nature is capable of during the 50th anniversary ceremony of the 1974 Xenia tornado. When I spoke with survivor Sue Seitz, who was 13 at the time, it was clear how fresh the memories still are and how much it's impacted her life. We could have gotten injured because there was a lot of debris that blew into the house, but we made it down in the basement just in time. It was pretty frightening. It still is very frightening to me anytime there's a storm or anything. The city took time today to honor the lives and everything else that was lost that day. But the ceremony was also a time for people to reflect and share their stories to acknowledge how this one moment in time changed everything. Many officials who spoke had memories from that day or shared stories passed down from family members. Well, 50 years ago, it's hard to believe. Uh, you know, I was right over there when it, when it hit. And we were fortunate, uh, we lost the roof, but no one, no one was hurt. It's an emotional story. One, um, my dad no, is no longer with us, so it's just a memory. I was not born yet, um, so it's something that my mom talks about, and it was a very um, important memory for her to share as she is reflected on this day. As much as it was a day to mourn the people who were lost in the tornado and those who have passed away since, it was also a day for people to heal even further and share hope with each other. I think what you heard was um, an acknowledgement of those, of those deep sadness, the loss. Um, there are scars that so many still carry. And yet what I think you also heard today was hope and resilience. Xenia has come a long way in these 50 years. And one feeling people celebrated was the future Xenia can still have for years to come. This senior came back, uh, people put it back together again, and, and the community looks to the future. Our biggest message is that we want to acknowledge what has happened, what did happen, but we really want this to be a, a turning point. This is a moment where we say, this is our history, but here's our future. Xenia lives, Xenia thrives. Today, Xenia was able to inspire other communities that are battling the same challenges left by our more recent tornadoes. They're able to show that when a community comes together, uh, rebuilding is possible. Our own Adam Arrow and Lee Furry produced a documentary about the 1974 tornado. You can now view it on our Dayton 24-7 Now YouTube page. Back to you.